big wet babies. That's just what the Republican Party and far right Twitter is. Big wet babies who are consistently concerned with triggering the libs with their own like diaper filling. Well, well, uh, Prager's on that beat now. Let's do this mm. here, um, Bradley. Um, so Dennis Prager was like uh, Matt and Brandon were just laying out one of the conservatives who is uh, up in arms about the smallest things they could find at the uh, Super Bowl. Uh, they love like the right loves taking these kind of cultural moments, whether it be award shows or something like the Super Bowl, where they get to tune into culture and critique it. They see it as a real opening for them um, to, to launder their right wing agenda. I mean, Prager just does it in the most boring way possible. Um, he was uh, referring to this ad that was run, the He Gets Us Jesus ads um, that ran during the Super Bowl, funded by the right-wing Hobby Lobby guy, uh, anti-gay, anti-abortion, uh, very wealthy person. And um, he just takes a very a bizarre turn here uh, and actually has a criticism of the ad. Let's watch. But there was another one, He Gets Us, is the group I never knew of their existence prior to yesterday. And the ad was showing children doing adorable things. Mm. And the tagline is, Jesus wants us to act like children. Is that correct? Did I get that right? That was the tagline? No? Oh, Jesus did not ask us to act like adults. It's the same thing, but it's... But it's different words. I want to get the words back. <laughs> Thank you, Prager. <laughs> so, riveting it's, radio. It's an interesting thing because there are <laughs> certainly New Testament statements to that effect. I think. I think it. Um, it's an. In, it's interesting because my belief is that the Bible wants us to grow up. Uh, and look. Uh, you know my belief that if Christianity dies, so does the West. So I can't, couldn't be more clear on that. And uh, I have zero romanticization of children. Children are among the meanest creatures on earth. <laughs> I'm not talking about three-year-olds. They don't have the capacity to be mean. But he but said that before, they though. Get into elementary school, oh, I mean, the whole bullying issue is an example. I was a counselor at a camp. I, I saw how kids treat each other. Well, those poor kids. Sounds like you were bullied as the counselor by the kids. Um, Might have been the case. So a little, it was a sleep away. Made some jokes about how you're a snooze fest and no one wants to hang out with you. Children are among the meanest creatures on earth. It's just like, he, who listens to this shit? I, I find his hatred of children endearing. I think it's the most, it's like, it's just such a interesting through line because it's very like deep and personal, like not in a way that all Republicans hate children, which you can kind of like see it in the way like their policy prescriptions. He just has like a deep visceral dislike of like not just children, but the idea that people think that they're cute. And he yeah. he like clear. He's just like some people say kids say the darndest things. I say they say the damnedest things because they're all so evil. And you're like. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> like people just don't think that usually. <laughs> and, and most people do not uh, think that children are some of the meanest creatures on earth. But, you know, I, I, I don't even know, like the thing about Prager is just uh, Sam said this before that he's a radio guy with a YouTube show. And uh, that's similar to what has happened here. But he's very much struggled to adapt to current right wing um uh, trappings and broadcasting trajectories because none of this is appealing to anybody i mean who is he bringing in in terms of new audience they're all going to go with the daily wire no one wants this snooze fest about how children are actually evil it's just weird weird it only weird only stuff. really i feel like it only really makes sense if you assume that he was like a counselor at like camp crystal lake or something like when they drowned Jason or like during the sleepaway massacre, sleepaway camp massacre situation, then it makes a lot of sense that he has a negative view of children. Otherwise, it's just, you know, what happened, bro? Apparently like, don't, he like, has four four kids of his own. Uh, they don't call. I mean, I would love to know how it was like growing up 
with Dan- Dennis Prager for a father. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. When you're three, he hates you. You're the one of the yeah, meanest boring. creature on earth. Anyway, um, someone says that there's a heart monitor sound and a breathing noise. So just guys, just watch your mics uh, when you're not speaking. It might be on the other side. I'm just getting a few IMs. I don't know what I'm, I'm sorry. That's just, that's just me uh, calling in from my deathbed. Excuse yeah, me. there you go. Heart <laughs> monitor sound. I'm a bit of a mouth breather. I have to get real close that's to mic and inhale. There you go. I got this green screen up. I'm actually laying down in the hospital. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the grind never stops. That's the, um, that's the Jeroboam's Naro special. There you go.